Now, I'll explain what's happening with the hip joint when the leg folds inwards. Here's an example. Here is a hip. When your leg is like that, the leg becomes shorter. And the pelvis tilts the hip out. Chiropractitioners and osteopaths are trying to correct the pelvis's original shape. Even some of our traumatologists diagnose a misalignment of the pelvis. In truth, there is no such diagnosis. This is just a functional disorder that we can eliminate with an item called an orthotic arch support insole. This insole costs only about $50. Most ever people, for one session, spend about $100, whereas the insole only costs 50 and you can use it for about a year. They could spend $100, and that would last for two years, for two insoles. So with what we see in the pelvis misalignment, it may look like what we have is a pelvis uh, misalignment, but in fact it's not. If you have a bad pelvis misalignment, what's going to happen to your spine would be falling to the side. Of course, some muscles would try to hold it. Which ones? These ones. A tower falling to this side and here is a rope, the outer muscles. Which muscles would be tightened? These ones, on the left side. I have checked your muscles and logically thinking I assume that your muscles will be tighter on this side and also sensitive. Let's check your spasticity. Turn around, back to the camera. We see a straight, beautiful back. And now I want to find out, was I right? So I'm testing my theory. My visual diagnosis has to coincide with my logical and palpation diagnosis. I'm now palpating the right side and with the same pressure, I am now doing the left side. This pain from the massage I had before yesterday. Now I was applying some pressure on both sides when I was doing the massage. Okay. I'm going to explain the biomechanics of our body. It's a very complicated thing. So for chiropractitioners and osteopaths, it is very difficult because they have to remember loads of information regarding another person's biomechanics. And when, during a massage, you come across a difficult moment, I need to remember a lot of information, like an overloaded computer. In a human body, there are about 200 muscles on the back. Each of them can have different muscle tones. For uniform posture, let's say here, the rhomboid muscle on the right is working harder than the left, which is why someone would be in pain. For you, the one on the left is working harder. So you have a question. Why do you feel a stiffness on the right side? Let me explain. Because compensating muscles on this side are taking a lot of weight, like a falling tower, and all those muscles are getting tighter. You are right-handed, right? Yes. Imagine, if some muscles are tighter, the connected joints won't function properly. These joints are called facet joints. They are like a pair. So, you can see one on the left side and one on the right side. So, here is a muscle in spasm that is attached to this vertebra. This muscle will have to work harder because this vertebra is one piece with two facet joints. The left side muscle is tighter, but the vertebra needs the movement to be even. Our biomechanics allows us a wide range of movements. Right, this muscle is in spasm. That means this joint is slightly turned. Therefore, it irritates the capsule of the facet joint. This gets inflamed just because of how much movement is happening. By compensating, it's taken a toll on the joint's work. Why aren't these facet joints not working properly? Not because of your knee. It's normally because of longitudinal flat feet. Can you imagine how all of these links together? Now look, it's linked to these hands. This shoulder is higher and it pulls on the hand. It looks like that. That's why your right hand finger was longer. Look, we're putting our hands together, yeah? 
Our fingers are the same length, yeah? And my shoulder is in line. Look, I'm not moving my fingers, but what I am doing is lifting my shoulder and that's what's happened. The fingers move. So, anyone can check themselves. Stand in front of the mirror, keeping your feet and hands together. Now lift one of your shoulders and what's happened? Can you see on the camera? Your hands are the same length. Your shoulders are in line. Your pelvis is in line. But the problem we have is here. Take notice. Here I can get my finger under. And here I can't. Because of your longitudinal flat feet. Here we explore the problem where we feel unbalanced on your legs because of your pelvis and shoulder, as we previously explained. Also, she will experience a pain here in this joint. I'll show you how I can manipulate this joint using even my foot or hands. This will be on the next video, which you will be able to see below. Okay, let's see a zoomed-in video of the gaps we have here. Here we cannot get a finger in between, and here we can do it easily. You can try it yourself. Bend down and try with your fingers. Can you feel it? Yes. And now, could you walk backwards and forwards? One more time so the camera can see it. That's it. We got this problem sorted. Now I'm going to show you how to fix your problem with your longitudinal flat feet. But that will be on the next video, which you can click on in the link below. Do pobaczenia! <laughs> Sayonara! Chiropractor Vitaly Kazakiewicz